Welcome to Cadence Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature of Amos Red Technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we're going to walk you through the installation of the Cadence License Manager in a Linux system. I have in front of you my Linux system and two elements that I'm going to need to complete this installation. I have the latest hotfix for the Cadence License Manager and also the license file that I have received from Cadence Design Systems. If you need more information about how to download the latest hotfix, please check the video that is linked in the description. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to extract all the files inside that hotfix tar file that you see in front of you in red. And for that, we're going to be using the tar command in this particular way. As you can see, I have the tar command and the X, V, and F options in there. And then the name of my file. Go ahead and hit enter and your file is going to extract. The next thing that you're going to have to do after this extraction is complete, like right now, is uh, take a look at what you have inside. You can see that a new LCU particular folder has been created. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate inside that folder. And you can see right here, there's a particular folder called kits. So I'm going to go inside the kits folder and let me go ahead and clean things up a little bit. So inside this particular folder, I'm going to extract another file that is of interest for this installation, which is that one right there. So once again, we're going to be using the tar command in this particular way to extract that particular file. Go ahead, hit enter and that file is going to be extracted pretty quickly. So I'm inside the kids folder right there. And as you can see right here, we have a folder called tools. So I'm interested in that particular folder. So I'm going to navigate inside that. Then there's a bin directory. Last but not least, I get to all the LM tools that I am interested in. In particular, we're going to be using today tools like the LM down, LM GRD. Uh, I'm going to be using the LM reread, -re LM stat, and so on. And this one right here, LMUT. And I'm going to clean things up again. Let's go ahead and get going. So now I have extracted two files. The next thing that I have to do is in order to make things a little bit simpler, I like to copy my license file that you saw at the beginning of this video to this particular location, which you can see right there is inside the hotfix, CD, ROM, kits, and then the tools folder, and last but not least, the bin folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of my license file that I, I showed you before, that license, that data, and I am gonna copy that inside my bin directory. Okay, and I'm going to show you in a minute why I'm actually doing that. It's just to make things a little bit simpler. Of course, you can have that license file in any other location that you may want. So in order to start the license manager, we're simply going to use a command that is called the lmgrd command. It's that one right there, lmgrd. I'm going to use the dash c flag. Right next to that, I'm going to specify the license file, which is the one that I just copied inside this bin directory. Right after that, I'm going to use the dash L flag for the debug log file. And right after that, I'm going to put a path and the name for my debug log file. So a couple of things here, uh, as you can see right there, I just copied my license inside this bin directory. So I, I don't really need to specify a path to it. Now, if your license file were to be stored somewhere else. You can specify the actual path and then the name of that license file. And the same thing actually goes for your log file, which in this case I have called debug. So let's go ahead and hit enter right there. And that's all that you have to do. Your license manager has already started. One thing to keep in mind here is that I am using all the default ports. In particular, the uh, Cadence License Manager is going to use the port 5,280 for communication. So that's the one that I'm using. But of course, we have another video where we show you how you can change these ports that are being used by both the license manager and the vendor daemon directly in your license file. In my case, I'm using all the ports as they come defined by default. The next thing that you would want to do is to 
okay, I've started my license manager. I would like to check the status. So for that, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I'm going to use this particular command, which is the lmutil command that we saw just a few seconds ago. Right after that, I'm going to put lmstat. I'm going to use a couple of flags in there, dash a and dash c. And right after that, I'm using the particular port that the license manager is using, as I mentioned before, by default 5280, the at character, and then the name of the particular server machine, in this case, is called Phoenix. So I'm going to go ahead, hit enter, and check the, the status of my server. And I am looking for this right here. As you can see right there, it shows that the license server is up and running. And it also shows that the vendor daemon, which is called CDSLMD, is also up and running. The last piece of information that you have in here is that right there, where we show you the number of licenses that you have for the different cadence products that your license file contains. In this case, I only have Fidelity Pointwise in my license. I have five licenses that are in that particular file, and zero of those licenses are actually in use. So all this information is actually provided by the lmutil lmstat command. So let's go ahead and show you how you can actually reread your license file. So in order to do that, you're going to be placing the license file in the appropriate location again, and you're going to be using that particular command that you see right there, which is the lm reread command dash c flat right after that, and then the path and the name of your license file. Go ahead and hit enter and let it just reread. After the reread operation is performed, you're going to receive a little confirmation that that operation has been successful, as you can see right there. And the last command that I would like to show you today is how you can actually stop your license manager. So in order to do that, you're going to be using a command that is called lm down. You're going to be using a couple of flags right there, dash q and then dash c. Right after that, again, you're going to use the port number that you're using for the license manager, default port for this particular case, the at character, and then the name of your server machine, which is Phoenix in this case. Go ahead and hit enter. It's going to take just one or two seconds, and right after that, it's going to indicate that that particular server has been shut down. And of course, then you can repeat the process again if you want to go ahead and start the license server once again. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.